Hello, welcome, and this is the first video to support use of Minecraft education um, uh, to do programming. So we're going to get straight in there. The first thing you need to do is to load Minecraft education from the start bar, and once it's loaded, it should log you in automatically. If it doesn't, use your school email address, the 4041, and you put at garibaldischool.co.uk, put in your normal password, and it should let you through. Um, and you should get something like this screen, like so. Please don't waste too much time trying to choose an avatar. Don't ever mess with the settings. Just go straight to play. And in most cases, I would be asking you, or your teacher would be asking you to create a new from template and the blocks of grass template, and then just uh, play. Takes a little while to load, so give it a little bit of time. And once it's, uh, it's generated the world, you will be in a blank world. A couple of ground rules, which I'll remind you of each and every lesson, is we are not playing a game of Minecraft. We're using Minecraft as an engine to do the code. So at any point, if I see anything down on that kind of scroll bar, which is at the bottom there, where you can see it changing, I'll know that you are trying to do something, which I haven't asked you to do, because you never really have anything down here. Don't be pressing the E key for inventory, because you don't need it, um, unless I specifically say. Uh, and to move around, you've got your controls on the screen, so you've got W, uh, S, A, and D to move around, and then the mouse is which way you are looking. Please ignore the wildlife. Uh, we're not chasing it around and uh, punching it. Uh, just, um, find a space where you want to work and then you need to press the letter C. Now the letter C will bring in your little controllable agent and if you've only if you've never clicked on it before it'll actually give you this screen uh, with a choice. You're looking for the one that says Microsoft make code. This button should look like this but sometimes it can look different so you're looking for the make code option. Click it and it'll take you through to the next screen where you've got options of how to build the code. Uh, also, this tends to be half the size, so it tends to be this big, but I always maximize it to give myself big space. Any programs you've previously written will be available to you as long as you save them, but for this uh, demo, I'm gonna create a new project and call this uh, a demo and create. So now I've got a blank piece of workspace and it will look familiar because it looks a little bit like code.org and it looks a little bit like um, kind of scratch and those kind of interfaces. So we've got all our different bricks available to us under categories and the main ones you're going to want at the moment are under player, um, which things like when I say this thing, uh, do this, this stuff and the agent himself, what you want him to do. Do pay attention to the fact that the agent section is fairly large because he can do a lot of stuff. He can basically do everything that you would be able to do in a normal game of Minecraft. So there's movement at the top, there's then physical actions like uh, placing, destroying, tilling land and collecting things. And there's ones to do with his inventory, giving him things, setting what's active, and then kind of like um, doing anything to do with control of his bag, for want of a better expression. So I'm going to build a couple of basic commands. I don't want the on start right now because that would happen as soon as you start the program. What I want to do is I want a way of getting him to me at all times. So I'm going to use from agent teleport to me and I'm going to call this here. So if I ever say here, uh, he's going to come running. Well, he won't run, he'll teleport. He'll just appear right on your location. Sometimes it's nice to have some commands just to turn him round in case he's not really facing the way you want him to face. So I'm going to have a command called right, which I'm just going to duplicate. And I'm going to call this one left. And then I'm just going to get the brick that says turn agent. I'm going to duplicate that. Right clicking, by the way, gives you options to duplicate and things. And I'm going to have a right one and a left one. Okay, so I've got three commands, all triggered by chat commands. I'm going to hit play. Um, in, in case I'm covering this up on the recording, it's down in the bottom right. And I'll come back to the game. Now, there he is. There's our agent ready for his commands. Uh, and I just press the letter T, which is the talk, and click into this area here. And I'm going to say here. Now, you'll notice he will teleport straight away. And he's teleported to my location. 
If I do it again, and this time I say to him, turn right, go, you can see he's turned, turn left, go, and he's turned again there. So these are some basic commands. So let's uh, get him to do something now, I guess. Uh, so the most basic thing would be to get him to kind of do some kind of movement. So I'm just going to show you uh, the kind of things you might want him to do. So let's just call this move. Um, and we might want to move him forward, say, five squares. And maybe we'll make him do an about face. So we'll make him turn left, turn left again. So he's, he's turned around completely. Uh, and then we'll, we'll get him to move back to where he came from. So he's just going to kind of walk, turn around and come back. Um, let's run that. So if I now say move, off he goes, turns around and off he goes back again. And now I just want to show you, he's, he is a three, he's in a 3D plane, so he can go up as well as down. So if we just go up and then we'll go down, I'm going to remove um, these turns and he's just going to go up and down. Let's run that and let's run move this time. Up he goes and down he comes. All right. So that's some basic movement. Um, so it'd be worth at this stage, probably pausing the video, getting into a blank world, trying to make sure you can navigate him in all the planes of motion. You should also take note that he can move left and right. In other packages, you would have had to turn, like do you take code.org, you would have to turn left and then move maybe and turn right and then move. In this, you can literally just move left and move right which means he will like strafe is the expression. So if he's looking at me, look, if I go move, look, he just strafes, he sidesteps. So that you've got a good control of motion there on him. So maybe pause now and have a go at some of those kind of primitive moves. When you come back to me, we'll look at some other things he can do. So off you go, have a little play with him with movement. Right, if you've come back, you've you've got used to the movement. So let's let's look at something else. So um, I'm gonna now give him some things uh, that he can then uh, build with. Uh, so like I want to make a, a a straight wall. So this is where you're gonna start giving him inventory. So if you look down in the agent section, there is a set block count and in slot. So this means if you, we go through it, so let's call this wall. If we go through it, this is the brick I'm going to give him in his inventory. So I'm gonna give him um, a spruce wood block. This is how many of them. I'm just gonna give him a maximum 64 count. And this is the slot in which uh, he gets it. To understand what we mean by slots, if you've played Minecraft before, it's these things along the bottom that you can see moving. So slot one would be the, the first slot of his, uh, his kind of action uh, toolbar there, his hotbar, and then slot two, slot three, slot four, and so on. So you can give him things in these slots, and then if I go back to the code, under agent, I can then say to the agent, set your active slot to be one. That means he's equipped it like you would equip it by pressing one on the keyboard if you were playing Minecraft yourself. So I've given him 64 wooden blocks, and I've said equip them and be ready to use them. If I gave him some others in, in slot two, I could then switch to that slot and alternate the blocks by using these set active uh, blocks. And I'm gonna make him lay some bricks in a straight line. So uh, let's get him doing that. So let's have him move forward by one. And then I'm gonna get him to place uh, behind him where he just came from. If you place in front of him, and then you try and move him forward, he's obviously gonna smack into it and you'll get an error message saying, I can't do that. He will always say when he can't move through something. So it's probably not worth doing. Just wanna show you the effect of this. So he should get 64 blocks. He'll then set that active. He'll then move forward one square and put a brick behind him. Okay, so let's watch that. So wall. There you go. He did exactly what I told him to do. Right, well, that's not really a wall, it's a brick. Um, so let's go back in here um, by pressing C. And what we want to do is we kind of want to do this process several times. 
um, it should be pretty obvious from your code.org work what we must do in order to repeat this. We need some kind of repetition, a repeat, or what we say in computing, an iteration. That is something that loops or repeats. So this was sequence, now we're moving to iteration. So under the loop section, I'm gonna get repeat. I'm gonna do an eight uh, repeats of this, which means I should get eight pieces of wall. So let's have a go and see what happens. I'm gonna leave him where he is, which means we'll end up with nine, because there's one already there. But let's now ask him to make the wall. Do, 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 do. There we go, he is done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of wall. Now what I'm gonna get you to do at this stage, which will conclude this first video, is I want you to try and build now a wall, which is eight uh, long, but I'm not giving you the code for this. I want it three high, which means you're gonna have to think about what you're repeating, because there's gonna be another repeat, and you're gonna also need to move him around in order to get him back on top of the wall in the right place to lay another layer. So I want a three tier wall, so that it's three high and eight along. Okay, that's your task. Uh, I left this code here in case you wanna pause the video on it and you know how to build a single wall, uh, but that, that's what you need to do. So have a go at that, and that will conclude this first video, which is the basics of using Minecraft EDU. Good luck with that. Um, and I'll uh, see you in the next vid.